All right, hi, I'm Imran from Tweak3D, and today I just want to take a quick look at basic floor plans and basic elevation plans and explain what some of the symbols and measurements on them might be that um, you were curious about. Um, most of it is pretty basic, self explanatory, but let's imagine that you're a new freelancer on the market. You've decided that you're going to work with architectural visualizations and the client contacts you and says I've got a project for you and you think great finally I've got my first project he sends over the plans you get the plans you look at them and you think "Uh oh what do all these symbols mean and it can be pretty daunting at first uh, I know when I first looked at them I was like okay some of it was pretty basic but other parts of it I found quite confusing. So let me just give you the basics for today and then we can look more in depth at them at another time. But there's three basic things I want you to leave with today. And that is the, f uh, the wall measurements, the heights, and I also want you to look at the windows and the window dimensions. So let's start with the walls. Let's take a look first of all, I'm gonna zoom in here. And you can see that there's a bunch of measurements down the bottom and a bunch of measurements here down the side. Um, what on earth can they mean? Well, let's take a look at this one here, the 3300. What does that refer to? Well, first of all, the units that this particular floor plan is, is in millimeters. If you're living in the United States, maybe it's in a different unit, but here in Australia, most of the time they will be in millimeters. The front wall here, from here straight through to here, so we're looking at this part here. Um, this part is actually connected to this wall here. So from here to here, if I want to know how wide that is, that's measured here. 3,300 millimeters. Let's take another wall. Let's say I want to go over this wall here. So all the way from here to here. So this side wall. Which measurement would that be? Well, there's a bunch of numbers here, a bunch of different numbers. Um, but the one that I'm interested in is this longer one here, which is measured from here to here. And it's this number here which is 10,390 millimeters. And that will be the length of, of this wall. What about these other markings? Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, we've got this one here, which is bed three. We've also got WC, which is marked here, and the bathroom. And those numbers beside them are the length of that particular room. So the bedroom number three will be 3,250 millimeters, this one right here. And same for the others two. All right, so let's take a look at the front elevation of this house. Um, now, elevation can refer to the front, it can refer to the side or the back of the, the property. Uh, but in this case, we're only going to look at the front of the property. And what I want to check really is just the height. And it's important that when we're building our 3D models that we, of course, get the correct width of the walls, but we also need to get the correct height. Um, now, this one here is a little bit more complicated than what some of them may be. Some may just give you the height simply in millimeters, which makes life a hell of a lot easier. You don't have any calculations to make. However, this one here, you can see is using this C. So it's got 4C, 25C, 28C, 32C, etc. What does C actually mean? Well, it stands for course. So for example, this one here will be 25 course. And course simply refers to the size, or in this case the height, of a standard brick. A standard brick will be around 86 millimeters high. So if we take them calculations, we know that this will be 25 C, so 25 bricks, times 86 millimeters, which if you're able to work that out, it should be 2,150 millimeters high. So that would be the height from the floor right up to, to here, to the 25C, the top of the window. 
And lastly, I want to go back to the floor plan again. And this time I want to look at this number here. Let me see if I can just highlight that. Okay, and this number says 21 dash 2050 slash W. What does that mean? Well, this part here, the slash W part, refers to the window and this is marked here with this white line on the plan here. So let's look at this number first. This one is going to be a little bit easier and this refers to the width. So the width of this window from here to here is 2050 millimeters. That one's quite easy. But this one here, the 21, is referring to the height and again it's marked in course. So the height of this window will be 21 cos, or 21 times 86 millimeters. Now, to find the calculation of that, simply do the 21 times 86, and you should get 1,806 millimeters. Okay, I can double check this window height also by going to the elevation plan here. And you can see that this window height is from here to here, and it starts from 4C, 4 cores, up to 25 cores. And of course, from here to here then is 21 cores, which matches exactly with the plan here. So pretty straightforward. Okay, so that's it basically. So today we looked at the wall lengths. Let me just go back. So we looked at this front wall and we looked at this side wall. We also looked at the wall heights by checking out courses on the elevations. In addition to that, we also looked at the windows and we looked at the heights and the widths of the windows. Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I hope it was informative. If you do have any questions or any comments, please leave them below and I'll be sure to contact you and, and respond. Um, if there are any particular things that you would like to know about building architectural visualizations and would like any specific tutorials, please let me know and I will do my best to provide that for you. So thank you and have a great day.